What comes to your mind? Please participate. I don't want this to be a monologue. Chanting. Okay. What else? Okay. What else? Sorry. Krishna service. Okay. Prasadam. Very good. Another one after go. Okay. What else? Sorry. Hygiene. Yes, everything is kept in Ah, okay. Very good. Cleanliness. Very good. Okay. What else? Something to do with what we are doing today. We are Atma. We want to connect to the. Okay. We want to connect to the Supreme Lord. All your answers are correct, but I want one particular answer. Kirtan. Beyond Kirtan, what is it? We are the servant of the Supreme Lord. We are the servant of the Supreme Lord. What else? Happiness. Happiness. How do we get happy? By Okay, what else? Deity worship, what else? What else? What I am looking for one word. What else? What else? I know, who said that? Give a big round of applause. Festival. Festival is the answer. I got at least one person answer. So, Krishna consciousness and Vedic culture is full of festival. So, when we flip through the Vaishnava calendar, we will find almost in every month there is some festival or the other. So, when there is festival, there is definitely happiness. Because we get completely involved. Like for today, you see we are completely involved to offer flowers to the Supreme God. In the Kartik month, there are almost a dozen festivals. Which are they? We have Diwali, we have Gopashtami, then we have the birth of uh, Radha Kund, Damodar, Haribol. So we have like, it's, it's full of festivities. And festivities are something which are integral part of Krishna consciousness and the Vedic culture. So for all Vaishnavas, every day is a festival or celebration. Why is that? By chanting. Very nice. Chanting, we are connected. By offering bhoga, we are connected. By making garland to the Supreme Lord, we are connected. By doing dandavat pranams, we are connected. What else? Arati. By doing arati, we are connected. Bo yeah, we are doing bhoga for the Supreme Lord. By honoring prasadam, we are connected. So, Srila Prabhupada has designed our life in such a way that every day is complete festivities only. Because it's impossible to forget Krishna. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. So our life has been structured in a way that it is impossible to forget Krishna. And why is it important to remember Krishna always? Because on the day when we actually have to remember Krishna, we will remember Krishna. And when is the day? When? When the Atma goes out of the body. So these are all preparatory time for us to be making our mind connected to the Supreme Lord always. Now, let us transport ourselves from Jagannath to Vrindavan. So what is considered as a Vrindavan mood? What is considered as a Vrindavan mood? Always? Service. Service. Serving the Supreme Lord and remembering the Supreme Lord. So here, for the residents of Vrindavan, they always want to take the darshan of the Supreme Lord. The Vatsalya Gopis used to go to Mother Ashoda to complain about Lord Krishna, only to take his darshan. The Mahavirya Gopis were praying to the Sun Lord, Oh my dear Surya Dev, please come down. Please set very early. Baba, I have just risen now. You want me to set immediately? At least give me 12 hours. No, 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 no. Please set immediately. Why? Because only after sunset they can be engaged with Krishna, take his darshan and have nice pastimes with him. The Gopa friends used to say, Oh, Su oh Surya Dev, please rise early. Baba, just now I have set. You have to give me another 8 or 9 hours. No, 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 no. We want to raise. You want to raise early. Why? Because they want to be associated with Krishna by going to be 
Vrindavan Forest. So, all the time they are always in Krishna's body. Mother Ashuda used to claim the hilltop to see where Krishna is. He thought having binoculars, she knows the movement of Krishna. That is the mood of Vrindavan. Everything else is secondary. And what is primary? To be in complete Krishna's body. They are never satisfied. They want more and more of Krishna. Dil mange more. Dil mange? Dil mange more. They want, they are never satisfied. They always want more and more of Krishna. And the gopis were cursing Brahmaji. Why they were cursing Brahmaji? Brahmaji, why did you create this eyelids? Because this fraction of a second, when the eyelid is going to close my eyes, I am not able to take Krishna Darshan. Baba, I have created eyelids to make sure that the dust doesn't enter your eyes and keep it lubricated. Nothing doing. When I see Krishna, I am automatically, my eyes are lubricated. Why? The tears of joy. When they see Krishna, the eyes are completely in? In what? In Prema. And the Prema is actually a reflection. How is Prema reflected? Through a drop of tears. We cry for so many things. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. When we don't get salary on time, we cry. When we do not get bonus, we cry. When the Mataji's prasadam that is offered and given to us, when the salt is less, that time we cry. When the children don't score proper marks, we cry. We cry for so many things. But the actual crying should be only for Krishna. Other things are no use even if you cry. Probably you can cry to Krishna, Oh Krishna, I am not getting bhakti. Please do something for me to get bhakti. Right? So, Premanjana Surita Bhakti Vilochanena. When there is ointment of love that is applied on the eyes, automatically there is going to be that kind of a feeling towards the Supreme Lord. This is called Vrindavan. So, every moment in Vrindavan is a festival. So, why are Vaishnava festivals important? Why are Vaishnava festivals are important? Because if we do not have Vaishnava festivals, what festival will you have? We will have IPL festival. We will have FIFA festival. We will have Olympics festival. We have blockbuster movie festival. All these festivals are going to be, the enjoyment is going to be very temporary, momentary. For momentary pressures, IPL, let us assume that about 100,000 people are there in the stadium and 1 million people are watching. Just imagine if you do the math, on an average 4 to 5 hours are spent for this match. If you do the math, you will know more than 6 million hours are spent for something which is very, very mundane. After seeing this match, you will say, ah, the Chennai Super Kings has won. Hey, hey, hey. What we are going to get? Our pocket is still empty. Those players are getting? We are getting. At least if you are going to earn money, you can then serve Krishna. At least from that perspective. Yet karosi, yet asnasi, yet chuhosi, tatasi, yet tapasas, chakaute, yet tatkuruswama, tatpana. Give everything to Krishna. That's a different way of looking at it. So these festivals are going to be of no use. So this momentary, for the momentary pressures that we perform something and if it is not Krishnaized, it is not going to help us in any manner. So what is the effect of these festivals? There is actually a transformation that happens. The spirit of devotion increases. Bhakti Lata Beach. The seed is there. The seed is actually the devotional service. When the seed is there and it, it is planted on the ground, what has to be done? There should be enough water, there should be enough sunlight, there should be enough protection for the plant to grow. The plant grows into a tree and then the fruit is born by the plant. This is Bhakti Lata Beach. So today, we may not be able to bathe the deities, but actually we have actually given, given them flower bath. So, the Snana Yatra festival is actually, it precedes the Jagannath Pratyatra. Aishwarya Shetra, which is Aishwarya Shetra. 
which is Aishwari Shetra. Aishwari Shetra. Dwaraka. Hari Bo. Dwaraka Dish. 16,108 palaces. 16,108 means hundreds and thousands of servants. Dwaraka Dish is the king. Sorry? He is an Aishwarya Bhav. He is a king. Which is the Madhurya Kshetra? Vrindavan. Why? Because the mood is so sweet. When you just talk about Vrindavan, if you have diabetes, keep talking Vrindavan, Vrindavan, Vrindavan because you will automatically you will enjoy the sweetness. You need not take a Gulojaya. Don't worry, today I am going to talk about different sweet. <laughs> Mayapur Dham is the Audharya Dham because who is there? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the most munificent personality. Even if you do not deserve mercy, he will say, Come, please take it. So we have spoken about how many Dhams? Dwaraka Dham, Dwaraka Shetra. Vrindavan Kshetra, Mayapur Kshetra, and what is there? Jagannath Puri ki jai ho! If Dwaraka is considered as a piece of cake, Vrindavan is the cream topping, and Mayapur is ice cream. And Jagannath Puri is a combination of cake, cream and ice cream. It's a combination of Aishwarya Bhav, combination of Madhurya Bhav and Audhari Bhav. Why? Because Jagannath is given Chapan Bhav. How many, how many items Chapan Bhav means? 56 items. How many times a day? Six times a day he is given Chapan Bhav. Because he is a king. How is it possible? Yes, he is Jagannath, Lord of the universe. Chapan Bhav, six times a day. By the time he finishes, another set is coming. So give me some space to digest. No, because he's got a, he is got a, the whole universe is contained. When Krishna opens his mouth to Mother Yashoda, she sees the entire creation, she sees the planet, she sees the sun, she sees the plant, she sees the trees, she sees herself, she sees Krishna also. Because that becomes the stomach. He has the appetite. He has the capacity to digest anything. So he is the king. Then how is he showing Madhuri Rasa? Because when you go and take the darshan of Lord Jagannath, you will have some experience which will establish your connection to him. The, the, the engaging sweet pastime that he has with you. Somebody will come and say, Here sir, please take this prasadam. Somebody will come and give some tirtha. Please, this is Lord Jagannath. Jesus. Somebody will give you a flower. You will see, you, you believe this or not, you go to Jagannath, Puri Jagannath, you will have some experience with the Supreme Lord because he is actually waiting for your arrival. Then the third aspect is the Audhari aspect. How is he showing the compassion? Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. For how many years did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there in Puri Jagannath? For 18 long years he was there in Puri Jagannath. So the whole place has become an Audhari now because of the presence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who is Lord Krishna himself. So the city of Puri, Jagannath Puri it's also called Nilachar. It's called Sri Shetra. It's called Purushottam Shetra. It's also called Shanka Shetra. So if you look at this uh, diagram here or the picture here, it is in the form of what? Shanka. So it is considered to be one of the most sacred dhams. And Lakshmiji, the Swarupa Shakti of the Lord, is actually she is influencing the place, and that is why it's called as Sri. So the word Jagannath means Lord is the master of the universe. Jagat means universe. 
and not means must. So in the many Vedic books, it's mentioned that Jagannath is Lord Krishna himself. He is accompanied by Balabhadra, his elder brother, and his sister Subhadra. And Lord is also called Purusha Uttama. Purusha Uttama. Uttama Adhikari, we say, right? Uttama means what? Best. Purusha Uttama means he is the best of the best of the best. So, so in the most, in all the temples, we have the Utsava Murti and the Mula Murti. Utsava Murti, who is Utsava Murti? The one who goes out of the temple. Why does he go out of the temple? Darshan. To give Darshan. Why does he have to give darshan? Because there are many people who may be very old, who may not be, who may be incapacitated, who may not be having the opportunity to visit the temple. So he goes around to give his blessings. And the Utsava Murti is actually permanently stationed inside the Garbhagraha. It doesn't come out. But only in the Jagannath temple, we, the Mula Murti, the Murti who is inside the Sanctum Sanctorum comes out. So that goes to show the compassion he has for the devotees. Right? Hare Krishna. That is the beauty. And he comes once every year to give his darshan. The temples are having so many strict rules. But the minute the Supreme Lord comes out, what happens? Anybody can go and hug him. But inside the temple, you cannot even touch him. But when he is out of the temple, you can go and hug him. So during Ratha festival, you can see a lot of them are going and hugging the Supreme Lord. He gives the opportunity. Come, 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 hug me, hug me. I also reciprocate. Right? So, he is a supreme person. So, whatever we do, he also does. The pandas brush his teeth every day. Have you heard of it anywhere? They brush his teeth. So, there is a nice big toothbrush. Just imagine how much of Colgate paste would be required. <laughs> he may not use Colgate paste, but he is using some paste, some medicated paste. And then sharing that is done for him. <coughs> <laughs> because he is a supreme person. What we do is basically we see copy and paste from what the Bhagavan does. And the Lord has got big, big eyes. Right? So when the eyes are big, we have to sleep nicely, right? Yes or no? All requested to the Supreme Lord. See, you are Lord of the universe. We have so many problems. You have to keep on looking at all of us. So you please sacrifice your sleep. So only sleep for three hours. If somebody comes to you and say, please only sleep for three hours, you will ask in the afternoon or in the evening. Right? Because we have to sleep nicely in the evening, na? in the night, right? So Lord Jagannathji agreed. Okay, I will sleep only for three hours. But then what happened? All the devatas. 33 crore devatas came and said, we want to take appointment from you because you are very, very busy for 21 hours. We also have to come and meet you and take our blessings and take our darshan. So, even the 3 hours is gone. And poor Lord Jagannath doesn't have eyelids also. So, there is no way that he can take rest. So, he is always, that is his duty. You see, he is showing a morose space. When you see the deity or the picture of Jagannathji, Balabhadra and Subhadramai, what do you notice apart from the big, big eyes? Smile. Smile. Haribo. They keep smiling. Suppose you come to me with problems. I have to show some reaction, right? But if you keep smiling, like this, you will feel upset. But when the Bhagavan smiles, we consider that as what? As accepting our problem and giving us the solution. Big dilated eyes. So,
So we'll we'll spend about next few minutes to understand why does Lord Jagannath have big dilated eyes? We have amongst ourselves uh, Himavati Mataji, who's an eye doctor, right? Hari Bol. So when we go to the eye doctor, one thing that I don't like is when they will put some uh, drops. After a few minutes, everything will be so. Blood. But you cannot, you cannot bright, but you cannot read. You 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 feel very blurred, right? So just imagine, Lord Jagannath is permanently is having big big dilated eyes only to give us kripa drishti. Only to give us kripa drishti. This is called the Mahabhava form. So why does he have this Mahabhava form? So Krishna left Varajabhumi. Where did he go from Varajabhumi? He went to Mathura. Very good. From Mathura where did he go? He went to Swarga. A simple person has become the king. Yes or no? There are two pictures here. The picture down, what is he doing there? He is with actually cows and calves herding, and on top he is actually the Dwarakadish. He is actually ruling. From being a simple cowherd boy, he has become the king. So when he went to Dwaraka, he married 16,108 queens, and all of them were actually serving very very nicely. But when Krishna was fast asleep. What was he doing? What was he doing? He was crying. He was crying. So what would have been the reaction of the 16,000 queens? We are serving him so nicely. We are offering him so many nice, nice yogas. And he is saying, Rade Rade Gopi Gopi all the time. Is it good or not? Huh? Why everybody is so silent? Huh? Krishna can say Rade Rade Gopi Gopi, but we cannot say anything. We dare not say anything. We cannot even think of anything. So, they were wondering who. Because the queens of Dwarka are in Aishwarya Bhav and the gopis are in Madhurya Bhav. Both were loving them. The queens of Dwarka and the gopis were loving Krishna so nicely. But what is the difference? There is only one difference. The love of the gopis was unadulterated. How many of you like 24 karat gold? I am sure all the men will like 24 karat gold. Because it is incashable easily. But all the Matajis will like 22 karat. Why 22 karat? Because copper is added to make very nice mana. Right? So because of the unadulterated love of the gopis, Krishna was always thinking of them. 24 Pasar. So in the Skanda Purana, there is a very beautiful pastime which explains why Lord Jagannathji's eyes became dilated. So once Lord Krishna, Baladev, Subhadramai, Rohini Devi, they all went to Kurukshetra on the solar eclipse day. And these and 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 the, the queens also were there. The queens wanted to actually they had in this mind why Krishna is always chanting the name of Rade Rade Gopi. So because these are very confidential pastimes. Rohini Devi said, I will tell some of the Vrindavan pastimes, but please make sure that Krishna and Balram 
do not hear. Because the minute they hear, they will faint. So they told Subhadramai, use your two hands and hold the door handle and ensure that Krishna and Balram don't enter into this room. So, Rohini Devi started narrating the pastimes to the queens. And as these pastimes were narrated, Subhadramai got a bit lazy. She, she, was, she was not able to, she was not in her true senses. Because the pastimes are so nectarian, very deep in nature. And at that point of time, Krishna and Baladev came. What is this? Subhadrai, my little sister is dancing, holding the hand. Then they could hear some confidential narrations that happened. The minute Krishna and Balaram started hearing these confidential pastimes, what happened? The limbs started shrinking. The head started going down. And eyes became very, very big. And suddenly when Subhadra saw the two brothers, she also became, and additionally, she lost both her hands also. So when we hear about these pastimes of Lord Krishna and Vrindavan, do we feel like that? Do we feel like that? No. Why? Because we don't have that bath in our And then what happened? Nahara Muni saw this beautiful darshan. And he said, I have seen, I have seen, I have seen, I have seen. Oh, you have seen? Confidential pastimes. So please, since I have seen, I want you to manifest this to this entire material world and let everybody see this. And that is why Lord Jagannath came to Puri. And he used Indraduna Maharaj to as an instrument to build this beautiful Jagannath. So now we will talk about Snan Yatra. So this is only the introduction part. We have a lot to cover. Snana means what? Bath. So we are actually giving bath to the Supreme. So basically there are 12 months in a year. We learn in school, right? January, February, March, April. As per the English calendar. But as per the Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition, the 12 months are associated with Lord Vishnu, which we recite every day. How do we recite every day? When we wear the Tilaka. Om Keshavaya Maha. Om Narayanaya Maha. Om Madhavaya Maha. Om Govindaya Maha. Om Vishnadaya Maha. Om Madhusudanaya Maha. Om Trikramaya Maha. Om Madhavaya Maha. Om Srinaraya Maha. Om Vishnadaya Maha. Om Kapanaraya Maha. Om Dhamodaraya Maha. Yes. Vasudeva. I missed Vasudeva. Vasudeva. Sorry. Vasudeva, forgive me for that. <laughs> so, we associate these 12 months to Lord Vishnu. And once in four years, we have one more. Yeah. Purushottama. We have Adhikamas. Yeah? And the Sanskrit equivalent is actually Marga, Marga, Sirsha, Pausha, Maga, Falguna, Chaitra, Vaishaka, Jeshta, Ashada, Shavana, Bhadrapada, Ashvina and Kartika. So these are the, the Sanskrit names of these months. And we all know Kartik month, right? Where? Mother Yashoda ties Lord Krishna. We know that thoroughly. Right? So, sorry? Andal. Okay. Rupa, yes. So in the Jeshta month, 
which, which falls between May and June, we have this beautiful festival of Snana Yatra. It is the last day of the Jeshta month and the next month becomes Ashara. So this is actually the Purnima day and this festival is also called as Deva, Deva Snana Purnima. Deva represents Lord Jagannath, Snana means Bath and Purnima is the Purnima. So if you have this is actually the birthday, we can't call it birthday, appearance day of Lord Jagannath. In the beautiful Puri. That's why it's called as Puri. We all like Puris, right? So when we eat Puri, we have to remember Jagannath. So Lord Jagannath was actually Nilamanava. And then he became Lord. It's a, it's a beautiful pastime. I think it will be covered uh, next week as a part of the. So, for the first 50 years of Brahmaji, Lord Neela Madhava is actually the presiding deity of the universe, and the next 50 years it is Lord Jagannath. So, this is a very grand festival where the Lord comes out of the Sanctum Sanctorum. And he is actually given path. So Krishna appears in unlimited forms. So his unlimited forms. Talk about a deity. There are typically eight forms of deity. What are they? They are made of what? Metal, Metal. wood. Both are easy. Shaligram. Sorry? Paper. Paper. Yeah, then? Clay, mud. Mind. Imagination. Ah, mind. What else? Mind. Only we have covered six. Paint. 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 Okay. What else? Bath. What else? Glass. 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 You may have glass forms, but it's not covered under the eight. Wood is there. Wood is there. Wood is already. Okay, let me make it easy for you. Wood, stone, sand, clay, jewels, metal, painting, and mind. Sand and jewels in this. Yes, sand and jewels. Sand and jewels. Sand and jewels. Jewels mist. Yes. So, what form has Lord Jagannath Ji taken? Wood form. Wood form. Right. So generally, Abhishekam is done for the Shaligram form or the metal form. They are very popular. But in this case, Abhishekam is done although Lord Jagannath Ji, Subhadra and Balabhadra are in a good form. And only natural colors are used on the three deities. No chemicals are used. They make a special paste. Okay, made of plants, oil, etc. And this is actually, they make the, they beautify the deity using these special paints, non chemical based paints. So, when Abhishekam is done on these deities, what will happen? The paint will run off, right? Then we will find it a bit difficult form to digest. And that is why. Lord Jagannath takes a hati wish, which we will come to it. Right? Because all forms of Krishna, Nama, Rupa, Guna, Leela, are absolute in nature. Yes or no? If Krishna smears his face with sand, he will look amazing. Amazing. Very When he wipes the entire butter all over his smears all over his face, how does he look? Wonderful. He looks wonderful. 
So whatever Krishna does, that becomes a fashion. Whatever we do, it becomes abomination. Right? So it all depends on the beauty lies in the eyes of the seer or the beholder. So on the just before the Snana Yatra day, the Lord is actually decorated with lot of flowers. He likes flowers, right? Alankara Priyo Vishnu, Abhishek Priyo Shiva. So Lord likes to dress himself very nicely. So we also have to be dressed very nicely when we go in front of him. Why? To say that you have given this. So I want to exhibit this in front of you. As a mark of with gratitude. So the Mulamurti, Jagannath, Bharadeva and Subhadra, they come out on the Purnima day and grand ceremony of giving Abhisheka So, on the previous day of the Snana Yatra, they are actually taken to a place called Snana Manda. So, Snana Manda is actually, is an actually at a particular level of elevation. So, if you are going to be standing near the Simha Dwar, you can actually see the Manda, where the Abhishekam is. So, when they are moved from the Sanctum Sanctorum to the Manda, that is called as Pahandi, Pahandi Vijay, Pahandi or Pahandi Vijay, which denotes the movement of the Lordship from the Sanctum Sanctorum to the Manda. Bhagavan is well decorated, lot of mango torrents are put on the, on the uh, entire path. There are a lot of victory flags that are established everywhere. Incense sticks are used. Nice perfumes are used. And there is constant beating of the drums and various other musical instruments. And the whole surrounding, the whole place is filled with auspicious. Because the Supreme Lord is actually coming out to give us this beautiful darshan. So the bearing happens at, during the at the time of Mangala Arati. So 108 pots made of copper and gold are used to fill water from one particular well that is there in inside the temple that is only used the day before Otherwise, the well is not touched because it is exclusively belonging to Lord Jagannath's service. How blessed the well is. Yes or no? Exclusivity only for the Supreme Lord. My life is only for the Supreme Lord. Just imagine if we have that kind of a mindset, what will be the case? So, when the water is drawn from the well before the Abhishekam, the Pandas what they do? They cover their mouth. Because the water should not be contaminated because of our saliva. And if you see, in many Vaishnava temples I have seen, the archakas, they will tie when they are offering the poga. They will cover their nose and mouth. Because even that smell, oh, how nice. Sambar rice is given to Lord Vishnu. That feeling also should not come. Because we are only expected to honor Prasadam after the Supreme Lord has actually tasted. Even that at a mind level, we should not be impacted. Right? So they cover their mouth and all the Palla Pandas, they actually they are actually a class of Brahmanas who then Purify the water by adding haldi. They add rice. They add chandan. They add agru. They add perfumes. They add uh, different herbs to make it as a very nice 
medicated water for the supreme lord to do it right so so jagannath ji baladev and subhadra are ready to take bath now and they are covered with actually silk clothing and red powder is actually put on them they are covered and there is incense sticks so the whole place is actually very nice aromatic uh, incense sticks are being burned for them to have nice peaceful bath so the abhishekha is then performed by chanting various vedic mantras hymns are chanted to glorify the supreme god so during this time may to june it is very hot yes or no and when is it hot for us august. july august so may june is very hot in puri jagannath so when you are in experiencing hot summer and you take cold water what will happen cold cold doctor. what will happen there are chances that you will fall sick right so after the bath after this transcendental bath that is given jagannath ji subhadra and baladev fall sick have you heard about this first time anyway they fall sick why again the reciprocation the personal reciprocation he becomes like a human the supreme lord only to have that kind of an engagement so abhishekam is being performed now they are very very happy right look at their faces they are smiling or not why they are smiling because of the love that is shown when actually giving abhishekam to the deities so as we said when the abhishekam happens obviously the whole face the paint will be all over the face so it, it might be a very that kind of a darshan may not be very digestible for mundane people like us but for transcendental devotees for them any form of the supreme lord is actually very nice so immediately what happens lord jagannath and baladev are dressed with a hathi vesh so they are given one nice trunk elephant trunk and they look like ganesh ji and what is subhadra given subhadra mai she is given a lotus flower face so when we see it will be like there are two elephants in the midst of a lotus flower and everybody is happy ah okay 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 but he is not elephant nor subhadra mai is lotus but they give this appearance or darshan to all the devotees so that they don't get very upset with the kind of a so called disfigured form it is actually not disfigurement but so called disfigured form because of the abhishekam effect on the deities so they fall sick so for 15 days they are actually they are actually they go to their private apartment where no darshan is given to anybody except the the people from the shabara clan who are the original people who took care of neelamadwa so the shabara uh, clan is still there so what they do this period is called as uh, anna basara kala An, 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 an basara kala so this is the time when no the temple is actually closed and no darshan happens so during that time what what is given medicines are given medicated water is given and water is mixed with cheese the first time i am hearing this water is mixed with cheese and that is all is given to the supreme personality of god otherwise normally how many times he eats he eats six times chapan bhoga now everything is cut when we overeat what will happen the next day we will only get what 
will only get what? Rasam or this lemon juice or something like that. Our stomach will be craving. Check. You should not have had that extra bonda yesterday. <laughs> you think by eating we will take four or five. Ah, hurry bowl. How nice prasadam. Fantastic. We we'll say hurry bowl, hurry bowl and keep on indulging. And after that, where is Gaviscon? Right? Tendency is there. It's prasadam. It's okay. So next day, we are actually, we have to have all these digene tablets. So here, similarly, the Supreme Lord takes 15 days break from all the devotees and it is this time when the repainting actually happens. And they are split into, this 15 days is split into 6 parts, 6 compartments and then the final touch up happens and uh, these devotees take very nice care of the Supreme Lord and then he comes as a very youthful form after this 15 days. When you take rest, nice rest, you will feel nice now, you feel energetic, right? Do you all get adequate rest? How many of you get adequate rest? Raise your hands. Why, no? Why nobody gets adequate rest? I get adequate rest. I sleep nicely. Only very few honest people are here. So, this after the 15th day, it's called as Netrotsav or Nava Yagunotsav, where it's called a festival of new youth. So they look so nice, and we have to get permission that Bhagavan can come out for giving darshan to his devotees. So this is actually the time when he is getting ready for Ratha. So, I think we have covered this. So, this is done actually in a very elaborate scale where hundreds and thousands of people come to flock to take the darshan of the Lord Shiva. So, a Vaishnava, can somebody read this? A Vaishnava never sees the material form of anything, moving or, or non moving. Rather, everywhere he looks, he sees the energy of the Supreme Personality of God and immediately he remembers the transcendental form of the Lord. This wonderfully merciful and enlivening story of the Lord knowing the heart of his devotee and personally bestowing his mercy. So, this pastime is a lovely pastime where the engagement. We started this class by talking about what? Festival. Festival. Very good. So, this is also a very important festival where there is 100% engagement that happens with the Supreme Lord and Lord being Jagannath, He is so merciful, He is so kind and the reciprocation also happens so beautifully. Next is a very important slide. Always, never, all glories to Sri Guru and Gauranga, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, Jagannath Bhagavan, Jagatnath, Baradev Subhadramayi Ki, yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare So this is the Svan Yatra. So thank you very much for your uh, patient hearing. So uh, if you have any doubts or queries or uh, if you want to add something, uh, please uh, we can spend the next 2-3 minutes. Bhagavan is getting ready. So. We can spend this time nicely. Yes, Prabhuji. Ankit Prabhu. Brahma? Brahma Padat. No. That is part of Nava Kalevara. Nava Kalevara. That is okay. part of Nava Kalevara. That is different. Okay. Actually, it was said that not exactly 12 years. Yeah. There is a point of. Uh, okay, can you give the mic to Prabhuji? Shantam month is the month. 
Hare Krishna. Yes, as Prabhuji said, it's correct. Yeah, it's almost like 12 years, but it's not fixed for 12 years. You can use said that when. Uh, Sorry, you can take yeah, it's okay. you can take it. You can turn this. So, as Prabhu was saying, the rates are being changed, but it's not exactly 12 years. Sometimes it happens in 12 years, sometimes the thing, the main criteria is when the Purushottam falls in between. What is it? Ashada and in between, if the Purushottam will fall, then they will change the rates. So, it's not exactly 12 years, plus or minus it varies. Based on the criteria, set criteria. And there's a kunda where so, when we went to uh, that time, that the Tana Yatra, they keep 15 days, that time it is 45 days. Yes, that time it will be the Snanyatra to 45 days when oh. they are going to change the day. So, yes. But when we went to Puri Jagannath, we saw the place where they make a pit and where they will yes. put the. Yes, they are close with the thing, you know. So, yes, the rates are changed, replaced, uh, but it depends on. Uh, Criteria. Yeah. 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 So many things to learn. Shri Jagannath Nani she has taken notes. See, Rashna has made nice notes of whatever we have discussed today. So we have to uh, see the uh, oh, 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 oh. and uh, little Bhaktin who has made this. So I would urge all of you to Haribo. Shivani has also made notes. Haribo. Haribo. So, we should, uh, we should uh, get some motivation from you, children. So, whenever we come for classes, let us have our notebooks and pen. Fish it on a notebook. Yes, don't miss it. Yes. Okay. Hari Bon. Hari Bon. So, thank you, Indian Samaraj and Prabhu, for uh, very wonderfully enlightening us. The importance of Snan Yatra is here. Hari Bon, even Adil Lakshmi has written notes. Hari Bon. Hari Bon. Hari Bon. Hari Bon. Hari Bon. Hari Bon. Association. Yes. Association is very important. Very nice. So these three children were focused in one corner and they were very attentive. So Hari Bhav! And also from here you understand the importance of association. If one, one kid is doing, the other kid is also inspired to do. Same way when you have the devotee association, when you see a devotee, you also inspired to do better de devotion to the Lord. That's why you have to come to this class on Friday program. Where you have association, then you will develop in your devotion. The association is very, very important. So thank you all and thank you, Sri Samaraj and Prabhu, for a wonderful class. Very nice class. So wonderfully explained. For many of them, definitely will be a new, a lot of new information shared today. So on behalf of all accessible devotees who would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to Prabhu by chanting Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And next week will be more entertaining, more interesting because Jagannath will move. Hare Krishna. So, uh, we have a very wonderful festival 
Same like this, coming Friday. As Bhagavad said, you can invite your friends also. It's said that in future, if you get the opportunity to put the rest, you don't think about the game. So, it's a very wonderful opportunity. I can give you a getting here in Kanya Day. So, we welcome everybody for coming Friday for this Nata Yatra.